My vision for this painting, especially given the location, is cinematic. Almost a movie poster. We were kids watching movies and car chases taking place on this spot. For me, this is the car that I always say is like my favorite pair of old shoes. It's the car I'm most comfortable in. It's the car that I did all my spirited track day driving in. And people say to me often, if you can only keep one car, what is it? It's 277. In my head, I see like a movie poster literally exploding at the screen. You're trying to establish 277 LA River. Yeah. The beauty of this shot, and it's, a, it's why I went for this angle, right, is because you get this explosion of everything it's coming from one behind. point. When I first saw it, I'm like, we're not really seeing the side of the car, but now that I've sort of absorbed it a bit more, it's really coming at you, yeah. kind of coming out of the piece. So it's a combination of kind of graffiti stencil and fine art. Okay. Right? That's my style. Get, well, I say, let's quit talking about it and get on with it. Get on with it. It's just something really magical about the very soft edge you get on a stencil. I love the fact that with one stencil you can get a very, very crisp image, or you can lift it a bit and get a very blurred image. You know, my motto is don't let perfection get in the way of the art. This is only the first layer of what will become distressed. I'm all about the distressing. One of the things I love about the way that Magnus looks at the world is that he loves things that are worn and weathered. He loves the natural aging of product, the natural aging of fabrics, and I think our styles are complementary, even though they're very different. Oh, look at this one. Boom! It's about capturing the essence of, of, of downtown LA and the river. So, a lot of depth. Yeah, a lot of depth. And I build up layers and layers and layers of like thick paint, texture. Mud, dead fish. Yeah. That triangle leg, I'll rip you right up. Boom! Jackson Pollock in the making. One thing that's always remained iconic is the LA River. But it's not a river, it's a man made floodplain channel that stretches 52 miles to capture runoff water that was built by the Army Corps of Engineers in like 1929 or something. I realized that when I've worked with Magnus in the past, he brings out certain elements in a piece that I wouldn't do. And I'd thought about doing these big bold graphics in a painting and hadn't done it. And so working with him was the catalyst to try something a bit different. You know, and I respect him as an icon. I respect him as a, an Elliot car culture icon. And so it seemed like a natural fit. The vehicle that takes you on the journey of my life is this car. Ultimate freedom to go wherever you want to go at whatever pace you want to go at. When Magnus suggested a collaboration, I saw it as an exciting opportunity to be pushed in maybe a different direction. I think the results are going to be really, really quite exciting. So when I look at it, I think you've managed to sum up everything that I'm about. It's a little crazy, certainly very colorful. I think you nailed that as to who I am, what the car is. You certainly added all the emotion, the energy. It's dynamic. I love it.